The Big Bang, the most spectacular event in the history of the universe, marked the moment when all matter and energy burst forth in a tremendous explosion, creating everything we know and love today. From the tiniest particles to the vast expanse of space, the Big Bang set the stage for the entire cosmos, when the entire universe was born in a blazing inferno of energy and light. The Big Bang theory is widely accepted by the majority of scientists and researchers in the fields of physics, astronomy, and cosmology as the best explanation for the origins of the universe. But recently, there has been a lot of chatter about James Webb debunking the fundamental theory. Has the revolutionary telescope discovered something that disapproves of the existence of the Big Bang? Or is it all hyperbole to the max? Let's find out. So the Big Bang mainly revolves around how the universe started as a hot, dense, an infinitely small point called a singularity that, in an instant, started expanding faster than you could imagine. As it expanded, it cooled down, and tiny particles like protons and neutrons started to stick together to form atoms, which eventually joined together to create stars and galaxies. And even today, the universe is still expanding, getting bigger and bigger with each passing moment. The theory has been supported by decades of observational evidence and mathematical models, but in recent weeks, there have been circulating claims on social media and in the press that the James Webb Space Telescope's first images provide evidence disproving the Big Bang Theory. Some have gone as far as to suggest that cosmologists studying the origins of the universe are in a state of panic. Are these claims true or not, we are going to find out pretty soon. But first, it's important to know when and how did they surface and got so famous that people are actually questioning the oldest and widely believed theory of the origin of the cosmos. It all began with an article published on August 11th by Eric Lerner, an author who has long challenged the Big Bang Theory and has also written a book called The Big Bang Never Happened in 1991. The article was shared widely on social media due to its controversial nature, which challenged what we thought we knew about the universe. The article gained traction due to its association with the James Webb Space Telescope, which has been generating excitement for its ability to see parts of the universe that were previously inaccessible to us. Lerner used some of the early studies conducted by the JWST to try and discredit the Big Bang Theory. What's more concerning is how Lerner's article misrepresented the early JWST data to suggest that astronomers and cosmologists are worried that the Big Bang Theory is incorrect. For instance, Lerner pointed to a preprint with the word panic in its title and took it as a serious warning. However, the author of that preprint was actually making a lighthearted reference to the band Panic at the Disco. Similarly, Lerner took a quote from astronomer Allison Kirkpatrick out of context. Allison Kirkpatrick, an astrophysicist at the University of Kansas, was surprised by the discovery made by James Webb that led scientists to know that the galaxies in the early universe were possibly more massive than they thought they were, and that they had a lot of structure, which contradicted their understanding of galaxies being this well-organized so early in the universe. The standard cosmology model explains how the universe's first galaxies were formed, as small gas clouds and star clusters merged to create larger galaxies. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's recent observations presented a fascinating astrophysical mystery. The early galaxies appear more mature than predicted by current theories of galaxy evolution. In a July 27th article by Nature, astronomer Allison Kirkpatrick was quoted saying, Right now, I find myself lying awake at 3 in the morning, wondering if everything I've ever done is wrong. Unfortunately, this quote was later taken out of context and misused. Kirkpatrick was initially unaware of her words being used to portray something she didn't mean, and was continuing with her research when she received a text from her friend, saying an article, initially released by the Institute of Art and Ideas, was circulating on popular news platforms claiming that the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of remote galaxies debunked the Big Bang Theory, and that the article took statements made by Kirkpatrick in the Nature article, giving the false impression that astrophysicists were anxious about the possibility of the Big Bang Theory being inaccurate. Kirkpatrick later clarified that the quote was meant to express the idea that the new data from JWST allows for refinement and improvement of previous theories about the formation of the first galaxies rather than completely refuting them, but Lerner used it in a context to make his article more believing and appealing. The scientific community later analyzed Lerner's article, and it was revealed that it was nothing but a mix of illogical reasoning and cherry-picked evidence. 
Lerner employed several logical fallacies in his article, such as implying that in the Big Bang model, more distant galaxies should appear larger. This argument made no sense since these galaxies were already the farthest when their light left them, and their distance from us did not change. Additionally, Lerner cherry-picked his data by ignoring other evidence supporting the Big Bang theory, such as the cosmic microwave background, which is a remnant of the event. Moreover, Lerner exaggerated real data, suggesting that the unexpected characteristics of the early galaxies not only posed a significant challenge to models of galaxy formation, but also invalidated the entire field of cosmology. He also disrespected real scientists by intentionally misusing their statements to support his claims and alleging a conspiracy among government-funded committees to suppress dissenting ideas that challenge the Big Bang theory. The James Webb Telescope is an impressive piece of modern technology that has been positioned in outer space to explore the universe's early days and the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets using advanced techniques and is continuing the work of its predecessor. The Space Observatory is making new groundbreaking discoveries with every passing day, but there has not been any such discovery that completely defies the Big Bang theory. While people like Lerner are spreading fake information about James Webb and the Big Bang, the irony is that JWST's observations support the Big Bang model, showing that the first galaxies were smaller and grew larger over time, just as Big Bang cosmology predicts. The surprising finding that galaxies in the early universe are more plentiful and a little more massive and structured than expected doesn't mean that the Big Bang is wrong. It just means that some of the cosmology following the Big Bang requires some tweaking. Over the years, the Big Bang theory has faced skepticism and rejection by some individuals. However, due to a lack of supporting evidence, their models did not gain widespread acceptance within the scientific community. Fred Hoyle rejected the Big Bang theory by proposing the steady-state model of the universe, where new matter is continuously created to maintain a constant density, and the universe is eternal and unchanging. Halton Arp rejected the interpretation of redshift as evidence for the expanding universe and the Big Bang theory by suggesting that other mechanisms, such as the ejection of matter from active galactic nuclei, could cause the redshift. Eric J. Lerner rejected the Big Bang theory by proposing that the observed large-scale structure of the universe can be explained by plasma physics rather than gravity, and that the cosmic microwave background radiation is not evidence for the Big Bang, but rather the result of the heating of intergalactic gas by active galaxies. But none of the models mentioned before gained traction, and the Big Bang remains one of the widely accepted theories about how our universe came into being. While we cannot say for sure that in the future, this theory is going to uphold its status for now, it is the most believed one. New evidence or observations could potentially modify or even refute some aspects of the theory in the future, but that's just how science works. We can expect James Webb to bring groundbreaking discoveries to the table that could revolutionize the understanding of the universe. Till now, the discovery of distant galaxies by Webb has created problems for science and has called the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question, but it is still not close enough to refute the Big Bang theory. That said, the Big Bang theory remains the most widely accepted explanation for the universe's origins. It is important to remember that science is always evolving and new discoveries can lead to changes in our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope will continue to observe the universe in more detail than ever before. It's possible that the telescope could discover something unexpected that challenges our current understanding of the universe and the Big Bang Theory. However, even if this were to happen, it would simply be part of the scientific process, where theories are constantly refined and modified based on new evidence.